All right, I'm here with Ryan. Yo. And uh, here we go. And we were just at the beach a little bit earlier and we're walking the beach and there's pilchards up and down the entire beach right now. And there's snook cruising all in them. Mainly on the smaller side, couple slot fish, couple a little bit bigger. But I mean, look at these baits. I mean, there's pilchards literally everywhere. Everywhere. Holy crap. Where, where are the snook at, bro? So, I'm gonna make one throw with the black pearl and this is gonna be ugly. There's some bigger ones out, Jans. One throw with the black pearl, boys and girls, that's all you need. So, I'm also gonna show you guys how to load the net because there's a bunch of different waves out there. So I load it. I just put it into a little loop just like this in my left hand. If you're right-handed, you're gonna be loading the cast net in your left hand. That's just the way I grew up doing it. And if you don't do it like that, you're a weirdo. All I can say. Also, I must have left the pilch here because it smells not great. Anyways. Oh, I see him. I'm gonna grab it here one time and then grab it right here again. Do you see him? Yeah. And then I'm gonna split the net in half. So grab it the side closest to me. Too. Just like that. It just came out. Just like that. So now I got the net split in half. I'm going to put it down. Once again, grab it like close to me. Put it in my mouth. And real quick, this is an 11 and a half foot uh, quarter inch mesh, which is perfect for these filters. And I'm ready to go. out the big ones out of that throw there's gonna be a lot of little bait a lot of little bait hopefully some nice ones All right, just got a nice throw there. Filled up all the way again. My first couple throws, they were mainly little. Using too big of a net on the beach, hard to chuck it. Those are nice. Only keep, if you keep too much, you're gonna die, so. Oh my God, don't keep sandy keys. Those will die. Only pilchards. Oh my god, keep the stokes, I'll never die. A lot of stokes. Alright. That should be good. That's what we're looking for there. You see snook or no? No. They're all deep? so dumb all right we're gonna try and catch a couple of course we can't sight fish them anymore when we were here earlier they were rank in the trough super rank on dead low tide maybe we'll have to come back tomorrow to do it no red pepper caught a little one wow a little petiter All right, we're gonna get out of the trough a little bit. See if we can, out of this, out of this uh, swell, I mean, see if we can locate a freaking little Snookerton Deluxe. I know there's nice ones in there, I'd just rather sight fish them. I think it's way cooler. Yeah, we got one right I just got eight by something here. Ah, oh, freaking Jack Poolery. Freaking Jack Poolery. Of course.
Ryan, it looks like you freaking got him on. Got him on, as it were. My plan is not working out. When we came here, it was dead low tide. Freaking snook everywhere, eating pilchards, of course. Tide rays. I'd rather sight fish him. I know we could cast this pilchard out of the middle school and wait for a snook to eat. That's what Ryan probably did. I just think it's cool to sight fish him. I'm gonna run home and grab some three inch channel bands. Should be a sick bite with that. Whoa! Look at the jacks freaking blowing them up right here. That's a good one. You sight fish them? Yeah. No. I swear to God. Hey, you want me to hold your rod? Watch out for the reel! Nice little beast snook. He'd come up and eat it right in front of you? On top. That's sick. That's that's the ones we're looking for. Yo, yo, you want to go home and get the NOBNs? I think it'd be way sicker. Hermes Delight. Did you talk to Colby? He never called me. Dude, the tide came in way too much. Ryan side fished like a 36, but dude, really? when we were here earlier, like it wasn't dead low, it was pretty low. They were in the trough. They were like 50 snook in the trough on pilchards. And you could have sight fished every single one. Now there's way too much tide. All right, it is the next day. Now the tide is pretty much dead low. We're gonna have a few hours to sight fish these snuck. All the bait's still here. I would highly, I would be shocked if the snook were gone. There's no reason it shouldn't be here feeding on those pilchards. And this time a little bit better. Alex got his three foot net. I need to order three, or even like a four or five foot black pass, black pearl pass net because this is perfect for something like this. There's a big, there's big pod right there. <laughs> is that how big they were yesterday? Oh, I netted one's bigger. I'm sure they're there. I just, yeah. Uh -huh. Should I go do another throw? Try and find some bigger ones, I guess, right? I think those are a little bit bigger, but once again, I can't really tell. Yeet! couple they're a lot further out than they were yesterday like at low tide they were all right here did you see any snook yeah did? yeah wow. uh-oh what have we got here on the way out. Feels like a, uh, a jack or something. No. Snook. Snook. 
There's number three for us. It is uh, definitely a lot swellier than we'd like it to be. But we're making it happen. Thing ate me, I was about to reel in. Slow guy. Little guy. But that is the species we're looking for. Just so we can catch them a little bit bigger. Beautiful little snuff though. Super fun on light tackle, you can't beat it. <clears throat> I really wish we could show you guys uh, sight fishing them, but they're not in shallow there. They're out a little bit deeper. But they're definitely here. And it is way more swell than yesterday. Hey buddy. Alex got one on. And he ate you? Yeah. Wait, was there another one yeah, too? Another one. Oh, he ate me! What? That's sick! A little double in the surf. Dude, I saw you just sit it right there. Oh, look, they pushed that whole school bait in. There's definitely a bunch of fish yeah. here. There was one that was like, I don't know, 35, 36? No. Arms in? on this two cage. Does my GoPro have water spots on it? No. Dude, if there were no, if there were no freaking uh, swell, this would be, you'd be able to sight fish them. Too much swell. I pretty much sight fish. Yeah, without sight fishing. Yeah. I just I saw your rod click over. I it in there and like five fish came up and blew it up. Said their home sound snook. Hold up your your two dinks. With the little two cases. Yo, Herm, you look nice. Shoulders look nice, Herms. Ah. Hermsdale. Yo. Some little snook foolery going on here. There they go. Hopefully catch a couple more for y'all. Yeah, that one ate me right. I mean, I just cast it right next to you. I got smoked. I got to retie. Just tiny uni to uni here, boys and girls. And of course, I just got my stratic freaking sand all over it, so I just had to dunk it in the salt water. A double less than ideal scenario, but what are you gonna do? Just a double uni to uni. And I got some leftover braid in there. It just like that. Now I'm just tying a little loop knot like this. And I'm using a 1 0 owner. I think I told you that yesterday. And uh, we are here in Jupiter, Florida, doing a little beach snook fishing. I appreciate the old drop the light. I got more sand on my freaking reel. All right, for all my Shimano fans out there, I'm about to show you something you're not gonna like. Ready? I gotta get the sand off my reel. I'd rather have salt water on it than sand any day of the week. Once sand gets in there, it's grimy. This salt water will uh, rinse right out. So I'm not gonna let it dry. 
So I am fishing with a 2500 uh, Stratic HG and a little light left for custom rod, 30 pound Flora, 1 0 owner. And I'm just walking up and down the beach, nose hooking them. Yesterday they were in the trough like crazy. You could see Snook swimming up and down the beach, but today obviously we got different conditions. So, got to make it work. Armsdale's got one on. A little snook. Little snook. Yo! <clears throat> you see him eat? So I'm telling you, we should get some splits and fish them in that big pot. Yeah. There's got to be a couple nice fish out there. I have a bunch of splitties in the truck. All right, whenever we'll both walk back. Circle hook? No. <laughs> oh, arm snook. Circle That's snook? That is a trophy. Got to. They just broke. Doesn't work. What? Grab them like that. They literally don't move, dude. Look at this. Watch my grab like this. Ah, uh, he's probably too tired now. I think he's been cobbling. Yo! Soon to be a voodoo eater. I've had some that size eat the voodoo. Alright, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, go ahead and drop a like on it. I really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not ready. And uh, I know we're just catching some little snook, but it's something to do in the summertime. It's fun on the beach. And uh, we're going to go back to the truck, grab a couple split shots, and then wade out, <coughs> wade out into the school of Big Peltry. There are baits out there, and hopefully we should be able to get a couple nicer fish. We'll see what happens. Went to the truck to grab some split shots. Alex got them on. Yo! Nice one. Is he a nice one? Right now? Yeah. Well, what's going on? That's a decent one. What? I'd like them all. Yeah, true. Yeah, a little bit better. Not a bad fish. There was like six other fish that came up and blew up my. Should I even put a split shot on? How many of you? How many of you caught? Yo! Mate. Right when it hit the water, dude. Little snook at the lux. Yo! Super fun catching these things on light tackle. Can't beat it. Dude, right when it hit the water. Is that a blue runner? Oh, it's white. Yo! Yo! Dude, they're activated. I got a blue runner. That's what I've been seeing chasing our bait. You got a snuff though. Yeah. Joe's runner? Yo. Okay. Whoa! Arm's got a little snook at the light. Can we walk down? I don't know. I mean, there looks like... Circle snook? Circle? Yeah. Circle snook? I know your arms. Arm's getting spooled. Actually, I think it's a jack. It's gotta be a jack. No, those are the heads. Oh! No. <laughs> it's a jack. Whatever you have, he's in Narnia. I got 200 yards of six pound. We'll see if I can get the job done. Very suspect on this one. I got frayed off. On that, I had a little snuck my GoPros off. I got some sort of critter. Oh my God, dude. Here we find that, that's a jack for sure. Yeah. 
Hey, you're, you're, you're done for. I'm armified. Good. He's, he's armified. Got a little one on. Look, my pilchard's still floating right there. He's about to get this destroyed. Little, little smoker tin. Super fun on light tackle. Alex got a giant jack on. Like a unit. Nothing crazy, boys and girls, but it is fun on light tackle. I want to go see what Alex got. Jack Bury? Yeah. Yo. It's not a bad one for the 2K. Not a bad one for the 2K, Armsdale. Got it rolling? I got it rolling, wait. It's rolling, Arm. Look at that. Ultralight drag scream in action, baby. Look at Erm run, I've never seen him run. Damn, please zoom in on this. He looks cute when he runs. Now I'm fishing a split shot, like a foot above my pilchard, nose hooking him, and uh, catching a few fish, I guess. Slinging him out there as far as I can, just waiting. He swam all the way at me right here. He ate it and just swam right here. That was so weird. Yo, Yo those are small. Oh, Snuggerson. Ah, stab it. That thing dumped me and then swam directly at my feet with it. Oh. Funny. I'm gonna grab a splitty from my okay. pocket. Yo! How far up do you have the splitty? Ah, uh, like a foot. I don't know. Okay. Right, that one. I don't think he's that much bigger. Bye bye, buddy. No, came back for a scrap. I didn't scrap to me, me. Bumped the dog to take that. Still doesn't bump as hard as the voodoo bite, though. No. That voodoo bite last night was one of the hardest I felt in my life. That thumb? That was crazy. Armsdale? Whoa, they're chewing! You got a bigger one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually do. Feels like a good fish. I was so afraid too. Big head shakes? Yeah. Oh my god, you're stuck in the weed. Yo, look at the head shakes, a good fish. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Oh my weed, dude. I got so much weed. They're dealing this buddy.
This is not good. I have so much seaweed on my line. Came off, dude. Yeah. That was a good fish. He might have frayed me off. That was a good fish. Erm, you that's a beak shot. Those are nice. Erm crushed them. Nice bait. I haven't I missed three fish in a row right now. Reel down. There you go. That's what you do. That's a nice snook. That's proper circle hook protection. No, no, it's not. They all Yeah, you know that one I have with beef. Yep. That's crazy, dude. I don't know how I feel about circles. Alright, it is starting to get pretty slow. We probably each caught in probably 10 snook or so. Obviously, they're all on the small side, but it's still really fun. I appreciate y'all watching, like I said earlier. Um, feel free to drop a like. It really helps the channel. Um, and then subscribe if you aren't already. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little cough. Check out some of our other videos on the channel as well. I'd appreciate that. Erm, I was throwing the net. You gave up? Yeah, they're too far out. This is coming to an end. It's almost over. Almost over. All right, you guys, that is it for today's YouTube video. I really appreciate y'all watching. Um, I don't know. What do you think, Alec? All in all, good afternoon. Can't complain. Can't complain. A little uh, late July. Very small snook bite on the beach, but it was cool. You don't get to see a lot of big balls of pilchers around here like this, so when we do, we got to take advantage of it. It's kind of mullet run-esque. What you guys know about that? Um, but I appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, move on with